Top 3 Ways to Learn Your Best Skills or Attributes In this tutorial, you will learn of the top three ways to learn your best skills or attributes. The first way is to be willing to try new things. Many people shy away from trying new things because they think it's too hard, it will take too much effort to learn, and or because they are afraid they will be ridiculed if they struggle with the new activity. As a result, they don't want to try to learn new things, preferring to stay in their comfort zone of what they know and do best. However, the downfall with this approach is that you never improve your skill set and never improve as a person. Plus, you deny yourself the opportunity to grow and experience the joy of adding a new skill set. Therefore, be willing to try new things and learn from the experience of the journey to learn that new skill set. The second way is to think about the successes and accomplishments you've already had in your life. Virtually everyone has had various successes and accomplishments at various points of their lives, graduating from high school and even college, getting a position in your field or occupation, getting promoted in that field or occupation, etc. You need to reflect on those moments and realize where your best skills lie, what attributes and abilities you have that you excel in, to where you can make a really positive difference in the world you live and how others can benefit from your skills. The third way is to think about the failures and shortcomings you've already had in your life. Virtually everyone has had various failures and shortcomings at various points in their lives. Not scoring as high on an exam as expected. Not getting hired for a position in your field or occupation. Getting passed over for a promotion in that field or occupation, etc. You need to reflect on these moments as well, because you need to see what weaknesses you have or had and how you have tried to address them. You also need to reflect on what you did to bounce back from those failures and shortcomings, and how you proceeded to improve yourself after those failures or shortcomings, so that you could achieve the goals you set out for yourself. By recognizing what you did before to overcome those failures or shortcomings, you'll know how to handle future failures or shortcomings so that you learn from them and bounce back even quicker, as well as to be able to achieve more of the goals you've set out for yourself even more quickly than before. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.